Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Life Nodding. In this episode, I want to share with you this uh, the creations of this um, spiral stair using Spreadshop nodes in Blender. So you might ask why we have to learn how to create this, uh, why I want to learn this. I can just use like um, Archi Pack add-on or Archi Mesh. Um, the reason is that with if you learn this, you 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 will be able to create other things that's not necessarily a stair. So this one actually a lot of uh, I use a lot of modifier as well. So like for this guy, I'm using um, bevel and a custom bevel to create this kind of result. Maybe I should just turn off notification for now. Um, so this is um, how I created this. It's not actually that complicated. So we have four different parts. Um, so let's take a look how I started. So the one that's actually doing uh, most of the the work is actually this iterate matrix transform. So this one is doing most of the job. There is other things like line. <clears throat> with matrix apply that's generating kind of like a sweep for the rails but I think that's how I started and there is this this little trick so this is um, very interesting one two three four so list flip polygon boom list first and last and UV connections that's actually kind of drawing the rail of the stairs and the rest actually just coming from that one so let me arrange this better so we have that we have two and three so there's only like three different procedure here so I think this is clearer first um, I think I actually started with Okay, the stair, the steps itself. So this guy, of course, the iterate matrix transformation is like using an array. You you basically creating this um, transform matrix array spiral. It's very similar if you have like a box, like a cube, and then you scale it in X, and you want to create an array that's going up in the z-axis and you kind of rotate it around using object offset so if you use an empty I think you already know how to do this and then you rotate it oh well I'm not gonna do it so that's a very similar case. If I zero, if I change any of this value, it will change the, the spiral matrix. So this one's going up, and then this one's actually give the rotations control. So it's like an array modifier. And this one is doing the job. I have the iterations of 50 if it's just five I only have five iterations 50 I can go 100 let's make it back to 50 so a lot of things are procedural here and one changes on the parameter will change everything I have line here because with the line I can control the the distance of the spiral so I think I'll, you will find this setup re very interesting once you understand it. So with this iterate matrix and line, so we just line. If you imagine line, line have at least two points to make lines, and then with this line and the matrix, we can just make it like a spiral. So that's one, and then I'm I'm passing this matrix into this output for the mesh 
this guy is just a step but the step itself is made up of box which I can control using the XYZ scale so we can can actually use this similar setup to create railway track okay so that's one and here I have this which is also quite interesting um, so line and matrix apply so I have so basically if I draw it I have this spiral matrix and I generate lines over the path and based on that line I will actually using this uh, list flip polygon boom list first and last you fit connection I can actually get just the points of the, the the line so I can just have the two lines like that so if I use fewer draw pass in this guy and the edges you can see I have these lines so these lines is actually just based on the transform matrix okay so from that lines I can simply baffle it so this bottom part and the top part are very very similar so it's just baffle a curve move of a I'm actually baffle, baffling the curve based on plane for this guy and the other one is baffle baffle a curve base but using circle with the circle we have control for a couple of things so I'm using triangle actually we can control the radius etc it gives a uh, this kind of look well, actually I'm using four vertices for the circle so very similar and I simply um, scale it right and I, I move it up a little bit from the original place that's why I have the rail and I have the bottom part the base part so those two are very similar very similar and the last one is of course the cylinders the cylinders is just based on the on the points of the line and I'm using the cylinder of course I can change the cylinder slightly I actually use the feature of cylinder like twist twist this twist is uh, quite decent but I think can be slightly different in terms of design but that's for the details we don't worry about the details for now so it's just a basic cylinder I have cap on top and the bottom nothing much here you can add uh, more details but yeah the whole things created the spiral stairs so hopefully uh, this example can help you uh, in terms of trying to understand this stretch of nose and stretch of add-on and how you could really use uh, all the features see this one does most of the job and then this one is also the one that generates these lines based on just the matrices this is also really powerful once you understand it and then based on this just a curve then you can create all this um, procedurally speaking this is really quite basic but uh, the result is quite interesting right it's uh, something that you can export as AR using USD so yeah I can do that file export USD of course you have to deal with, with things like the material maybe the UV texture and the PDR shading and all that 
but this is already something that you can export as AR so quite interesting uh, but also take a look at Archi so Archimus and Archipack is also pretty much procedural I tested on two Blender 2.82 this guy is kind of frozen on me but I'll give it a try um, they are very cool allows you to create things like windows, doors, stairs to make um, a complete um, interior kind of design and for architecture uh, visualizations this one what I'm doing is really to get into the into the low level kind of thinking um, yeah give it a try it's a it's very interesting you might find a lot of hiccup along the ways this thing is not always the simplest thing to do but you will definitely learn something so see just now I just make a mess supposedly I just want to change the the scaling so it's even just a small changes will change everything oh well there you go hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye